whole thing with speed and toughness being in the game in the first place, it makes it makes the job of balancing weapons a lot harder to balance things out because of the fact that they can't balance properly when a rogue is 9% tougher than the other rogue. You get what I'm saying? So it's like balancing is just much more of a chore. Like they can look at the D40 for example and look at its numbers and look at its damage numbers and say okay this thing is hitting a little too hard so let's dial it back but then to other rogues it's just going to melt regardless no matter what you do to it or it's not hitting hard enough to these other rogues so the whole speed and toughness thing being gone it makes it just so much better the fact that they're gone or that it's gone because balancing is just it's easier now I think the toughness and speed removal update was dumb because it gave good characters kind of a nerf and bad characters a good buff and then they just removed it like glitch this update got nerfed so much <laughs> in a sense yeah but on the other side of that coin there was never any reason no reason at all to play Kestrel. For example, this is just an example. Strike okay? Out. Why would you play Kestrel when Ronin was way better in every aspect? Like, they basically have the same kit. You know? And, or the same type of ability that can get a quick kill. You know what I'm saying? It, it's the same principle. And one step closer to our goals. People played Kestrel when they buffed her. They made her drones a lot more deadly. And now everyone's playing Kestrel. You get what I'm saying? But without that buff, if they didn't touch her drones at all, no one played her. Now look at her. She's a lot better now. There's no speed and toughness. She's better. It's the same thing with Seeker or Talon. Why would you play Seeker? They do the same thing. Talon's tougher. They're the same speed. Talon's tougher. Oh, because one has an AR? They both have DMRs. One has an AR, one has an SMG. In my opinion, there was no point to play Seeker. He's the weakest character in the game. You can buy armor, so he's a little bit tougher. But you can do the same thing on Talon. Namaste. So, to me, it Namaste. just makes no sense. Now, there's no speed and toughness. Now, everyone's on an even playing field, Your and everybody's played hmm. better. Exclusive. Everyone can actually be used. Like, there was no point to play or, uh, Anvil. Absolutely no point to play Anvil. Why would you play Anvil when Cannon does the same thing? He has better perks, or his perks are cheaper. They have the same perks. They're the same toughness. Cannon's faster. It, there was just no point for Anvil. It's the same concept. Suffer and break. fine but keeping bulletproof doesn't seem too fair especially with Vi they're, they're like they keep saying to match the character then why does Vi have legendary bulletproof yeah I know I don't understand why bulletproof is in the game for any character no speed and toughness so these characters don't need bulletproof bulletproof makes these characters that much better than every other rogue 
five characters that I stated. Cannon, Anvil, Sacred, Switchblade, and Vi all have Bulletproof, and they're just that much better than every other rogue. Okay, it's pretty good. To me, bulletproof is the best perk in this entire game. You would say like life drain is. All enemies have been eliminated. But they nerf life drain. Recently, it's just the dude's still a massive tank. Enemies have the objective. Why did you keep that, bro? Personally, I don't get why people weren't utility spamming. That's my biggest pet peeve on this game is people not using utility. I was already over the corner. Bro. I guess the reasoning for the max nerf is that, like, they have the numbers of all the most played characters and who's the mo most banned and all that. And I guess Mac was overly played and, like, looking at his win numbers, like, he's number one. So they nerfed him. But we already know that the Vi nerf is gonna come eventually. We just don't know when. This Ronin won't peek me at all. HP, 15 extra HP for Vi. That'd be massive, bro. Health passive changing. Just change up her perks a little bit. Add more counters to her actual poison itself.
Yeah!